Finally, my four weeks running challenge is complete. This is a video of my toughest challenge of attempting to go from 0 to 10k with only 4 weeks of training, which means I need to keep the 940 minute mile pace for a whole hour. As you know from my previous videos that the challenge is to complete 10k in one hour or less. So while I share with you this challenge and its struggles, I will have a video up here of the runs I completed over the last month and let us see if I was able to complete the challenge or not. I hope you watch this video till the end because I will share with you the story of my injury and the reason why I stopped competing in professional football. As I wanted to know where I'm at, on day one I set the treadmill to the pace I wanted to keep for a whole hour to be able to complete the challenge. However, I was only able to keep the 10 km an hour pace for 6 minutes only, meaning I only have 4 weeks to increase the 6 minute duration at this pace to a whole hour. This is how I approached the challenge. I started at a slow pace of 8 km an hour speed or 12 or 4 minute mile. The goal here is to maintain this pace for as long as I can until I reach 1 hour and then increase the speed with 1 km. So on day 1 at this pace I was able to run 4 km, the next day I did 6 and then the third day going to the gym in a row I was only able to do 1.5 and it was very clear that I'm completely exhausted. At this point, I decided that I'm gonna take the next day off. I also decided that I shouldn't be running two days in a row because with each run, I pushed myself to the absolute limit. Honestly, I almost passed out on each and every run during this challenge. Run four was great and within one week, I was able to run eight kilometers an hour. So I need to be able to run two more kilometers within the same duration to be able to achieve my goal. To be honest, every single run I thought of quitting, especially when I started run five and moving up to the nine kilometer pace and I was only able to do three kilometers on my first attempt, it felt a little bit discouraging. But at the same time, I wanted to keep going even if I wasn't going to complete the challenge or succeed at the challenge. The reason why this has been a huge struggle for me is because running has always been my kryptonite. I ran 50 times or less over the last 5 years since I had a spiral fracture to my lateralis with a bone displacement in a football game. So basically I used to play football at the highest level up till 2009, then I decided to stop. This involved a lot of running, but no long distance running that required you to maintain the same pace over a long period of time. Since 2009 and 2014, I did not run at all. In 2014, I returned back to professional football, which again required a lot of running, but ended up getting injured, which I mentioned a moment ago. I probably completed a total of 50 runs since 2009 till the beginning of this challenge of course excluding those six months to a year that I actually returned to pro football even when I returned to pro football I was probably the weakest runner when it came to long distance clearly I do not have a strong running background by any means which makes this challenge a lot harder I'm more of an explosive than endurance athlete thanks to my type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers which should come in handy when I start working on my sprints and hopefully complete a 1 mile or a 1k running challenge let me know which one you prefer here is basically a list of every single time I ran a 10k which is 4 times in my entire life and they all happened on a treadmill my best time was 59 minutes and 30 seconds, I think. Maybe 15 seconds, I'm not too sure. So, I'm really bad at running. During this challenge, I felt that it's gonna be very difficult for me and I just could not see the end line until run number eight, the first run at the 10 kilometer hour pace and I was able to do five kilometers. This came on the 16th of February, so 
halfway through the training and I'm already 50% complete with what I need to do. And that gave me a huge boost of confidence and really change in the way I run and my mental strength during the whole challenge just took a turn to the better and I started performing way better from this point. At this point, I felt very confident I will hit my target and start planning to beat my personal best of 59 minutes and 15 seconds. On the 23rd of February and with one week to go, I was able to hit my target of running 10K in an hour. After this, I moved on to the 11 km an hour pace, which is 8 minutes and 47 seconds mile pace. So going from 8 to 9 to 10 was not really that it still felt like a slow jog but going from the 10 to the 11 it felt just that I moved on to actual running and that was exhausting so this is now 2 a.m. the 1st of March and my final run I had no intention at this point of being able to go the whole hour at this pace the goal was just to do the 5k at the 11 km hour pace which I know I can do from my last run and then gradually bring the pace down and hopefully be able to shave two or three minutes of my 10k time. However during this run I didn't look at the time at all I wasn't paying attention to the number of songs I was playing to have an idea how long I've been on the treadmill and the first time I looked down I saw that I was at the 40 minute Honestly, I just couldn't waste it and I decided to just power through and, and go the entire run at the 11 km pace, which I was able to do. I think that I almost killed myself doing it, but I'm really glad that I was able to complete it. So the end result is 54 minutes and 30 seconds for the 10K. Running the 10K is one of the major milestones in attempting to become an elite athlete by the age of 30 which is the tagline you will see at the beginning of every video. Now that the challenge is complete, I will not be running as often because there are other areas that I need to focus on. However, I will try to get one or two runs per week and hopefully by the end of this year, I can run the 10K in sub 45 minutes or at least in sub 50 minutes, which I think is a decent time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was my toughest video so far. There's a lot of effort that went into the challenge. And please make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this.